Welcome back to P5 and I'm back again with another tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to connect the real e-commerce front-end HTML template with Laravel view setup. And I really hope you already have this template uh, downloaded from my website and if you don't have please go ahead and become a member and then you will be able to get this um, the template completely for free. But if you are a free user, you already have the free templates. And if you don't have those free templates yet, you can contact with me and just leave me a message about a message if you don't have uh, received the free one. So let's get started. And uh, you can completely follow, uh, follow how I'm going to connect. And in this of this tutorial, you um, in the video description, you will be able to get the whole setup source code available. And you can uh, start coding right from the first setups uh, code. Okay. So let's get started with the basic thing. So I do have the project setup already done in all of my uh, previous projects. So I will start from where I left off. So this is uh, this is our Laravel and Vue.js projects, and we already have all those things installed and set up. We just need to take all the HTML code from our HTML templates, and then we will uh, we need to start developing it. Okay, so let's get started. So first thing what we want to do is we want to take all the assets available in this template. So what are the assets and normally? So we are going to take um, CSS files and I might not take the uh, JavaScript files here. So we will not be able to get this uh, uh, slider, but I will think about it whether I should use a jQuery slider or build our own slider in Vue.js. So I have not still decided yet, but I will do uh, I will leave, uh, leave it for now. That's not so uh, super mandatory at the moment. So here you can see the structure is that we have a menu at the top and then um, we have header here, size bar. So I will make it uh, component based. So let's set up our components. So here well, the category will have its own components and uh, the header. And then we have uh, here and one more items so these items individually will be uh, uh, its own component so we don't have to code all those component again and again we will just feed the data coming from the server so instead of uh, so we will try to reuse our components code so mostly I will try to do everything component based so that we can reuse all of them okay so let's see here I have my Laravel project so as you know uh, in order to combine them um, uh, asset files we have to start from the mix file so let's start from here i have already uh, added the um what should i call it i have already added the um, vue.js into point this is the vue.js into point and i have added that in the uh, public JS file so if i see my welcome.js file uh, welcome.blade.php file you see i have already linked it here and then i just have to link it in the the html or css thing i need to uh, link it here so let's get started uh, so we will start uh, start with the mix mix.style and we will pass the all the asset that we want to pass so let's get um, let's uh, add the asset files from here so we don't have a folder that called css so let's create a folder css inside that css file let's see what kind of css this one is using the first one is bootstrap main.css so first of all, let's take this one or we can actually copy all this one. And we can copy it here. I think that's it. We can paste it here. Okay. We have copied it here. I think I copied everything wrong a little bit. I will delete this one again and I don't have anything. And I will delete this folder as well and then simply copy this folder. Perfect. Now I have a CSS folder inside my uh, public folder. So I will start taking the bootstrap uh, min.css file first. So let's take that CSS file. This is the CSS file and we will be taking this CSS file to our public CSS, let's say we say all.css, this is the all.css file. So we will be compiling all the bootstrap file and we'll be putting inside another file that CSS all.css, though we don't have a CSS 
uh, all .css files exist as of yet, okay? So we need to compile it in order to have it um, inside our uh, public folder. So here one thing I did wrong is that the location of this folder, so this the location of this folder will be public and then CSS and bootstrap.css. So if you don't know how this mix file, this webpack uh, mix file works, you can uh, watch my previous videos on Laravel View full stack visual series. You will get uh, in-depth details on it. Now I have uh, my project running as npm run watch. So let's see. Now I need to link this link uh, this CSS file. So let's copy some HTML links from here and just put it into the head tag. Um, we just need to link our CSS and then all the CSS file. That's all we just need here, okay? So this will mean that it will go to the public folder, CSS folder, and then it will link all CSS files. So the, though we don't have all the CSS here, it should be compiled as soon as we run npm on watch. Let's see again. Here we go. Uh, we have all the CSS compiled now. We should be able to see what one more CSS file in our project. So let's see. Here we go. In our all the CSS file, we have taken from Bootstrap file to all the CSS. So now, if I do a refresh here, and then go to see the view source code, we have all the CSS linked. If I click on it, I will see all the Bootstrap codes. It's available inside my project now. So let's take uh, all the other uh, CSS properly, CSS files. So it says all crucials, theme, default, mean CSS, and font or some. So font or some, we can link it directly. I will link it at the top. So it loads first there. We have then these two CSS. I'm not really sure now uh, still whether I will be using those things. Um, uh, CSS for the slider, but let's take it for the time being. So let's use them for now. We will remove it later, maybe. Okay, we have one last custom CSS or style.css. That's perfect. I will add one more CSS that called custom.css at the end. And in the custom.css file, custom.css, so inside here, I will run this is custom CSS added while coding. So let's keep the comment right at the, uh, uh, at the moment. And now we need to rerun it in PM Rank Watch or dev, dev. So let's see, we should be able to see all of our CSS right here. That's cool. Let's run this one and then this one. Okay, so we should be able to see all of the code here. You see now, um, except Bootstrap, we have all other CSS here. And at the very end, I have my own CSS file here. Okay, because I added it at the last, so it will add the last again. So that means everything has been added uh, perfectly. Now, let's start taking the do we need to take these JavaScript files? I don't think so. We will not be taking any of this JavaScript file. So I will just keep it for the time being. Now let's start taking the menu from the beginning. Uh, preloader, we don't really need a preloader. We will be using our own preloader. Um, this is the navigation. So this is the navigation. For, the, uh, for now, let's just test if our if everything is working. Remember, we will be uh, adding all of our navigation and reusable things in their own folders and structures. But we have uh, we have few uh, folders to work with. Here you see in, inside the resources folder, we have CSS and JS. Inside JS, we have main app. So this is the entry point. This is what it is loading. And and then we have, uh, we will uh, literally be not working here uh, much and we will be just importing all the routes we have defined in the modules folder. If you don't understand the structure, please go back and watch my previous videos. It's highly recommended. And we have basic store setup here. 
and then we have inside everything will be living under app folder in modules and we have view and everything right inside each of the modules so that um, users or uh, you can reuse your code and whatever you write here so you will be able to reuse it perfectly okay so I have uh, my example module here I will need to make up uh, different different modules uh, when I work with so then the code is actually everything is uh, their own domain so it is much useful and whatever is shared we will be having it here so that everyone can actually share it okay so let's get started we have a main menu here mm, main up here so inside main app let's take take this out and paste all the menu code here so now let's see what it looks like perfect we were successful in taking this uh, uh, file so we don't have a logo at the moment so what should we do with that logo uh, let's take this one is this a logo or what inspect we should take okay this is an image okay so we will take this image from the project folder Let me check where this uh, project is. Uh, so many projects, but anyways, I will save it and just name it as a logo. So I have saved it. Okay. Now I will go here and I will be in public folder inside public folder I will have um, images folder inside images I have this logo so now everything should be really perfect now inside here this is how we actually link so you start with a slash so that it is um, pointing to the main domain uh, so if I explain what the slash mean slash so mean the url will start with this one okay no matter what url if it is changes the uh, beginning url will be changing so slash image and then logo.paint perfect right uh, let's see what's wrong here maybe it is images not image so let's check it out. Yep, yeah. I missed the S. Okay, perfect. We have the logo here. Uh, okay, so we have uh, our menu here. Now we will be separating this um, search bar because we might be doing a complex search, uh, instant searching. So we don't want to include all of our code within it. So we will be separating the search. Uh, search and everything else will be uh, component based so i hope you were able to set up at least up to this far and then uh, from the next video you will be seeing i am uh, tearing out I'm, I'm actually uh, splitting everything including this one this one this one everything i will split up uh, into multiple components so it's more like um, uh, like a really good uh, organized project so whatever wherever you go so let's say if we click on here this is another page so we can still reuse the same Excel card everywhere, okay? So we will be reusing it. So we have a few different kind of uh, cards here. So maybe we will be using some logical setup to show the different cards, okay? Um, so thank you guys. And you will uh, check the description below to get the source code up to this far. And I will get back uh, with another tutorial splitting up all those uh, external codes uh, into separate components. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time.